Uh, hi, this is Ms. Romanenko and we're at Pink's High School. We're going to do some chemistry today. Today I'm going to give you a basic safety demonstration and some observations with different liquids. So before I do anything, I need my proper lab attire. So close those shoes, they're necessary. Also no dangling items, so I'm going to remove my ID so I don't cause any hazard. My hair is pulled back. Goggles, goggles are always a must. So here is my goggles. And I have to do this apron to protect my clothing and my body. Okay. So I'm ready to do this. Proper lava tire. Obviously no messing around. What we're gonna do today, we're gonna look at some liquids and see what they do. I have three different liquids. But my beakers are not labeled, which is really bad, and it's very important to label all the chemicals. I honestly don't know what it is, so I'm gonna try to identify what they are, maybe by um, smelling it. You know, it's not a great idea to directly smell the liquid, so the proper way to do it would be to wow. Well, this one doesn't smell like much. This one has an odor. This one has an order too, but it still doesn't tell me much about those liquids. So I'm going to run some tests. I'm going to put my this liquid over here on the water glass. I'm going to put this one, and I'm going to put this one. A little bit more. Here. Let's see what happens. I'm going to try to light them on fire. This liquid doesn't do anything. This one caught on fire easy, so what you need to know, this liquid is highly flammable and it catches fire. Let me try with this. Uh, that's, this one didn't do much either. Okay, also, remember this. When you're working with liquids and when you're working with a flammable liquid like this one, it is important not to have and uh, open flame because if accident happens and if I do this and there is an open flame, bam, my thing is on fire. And then what do you do? Uh, if something like this happened, don't panic, just tell the teacher and we t can take care of it. I was gonna say fire, fire, and then get the <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna continue with our experiment. Obviously, one liquid was extremely flammable and it catches on fire. Now we're gonna do another test. Since we don't know what those two are, there is some metal. My metal is magnesium. I'm gonna drop it here. Hmm, nothing happened. So that liquid is really harmless. Now let's see what happens here. Hmm, this liquid is extremely corrosive because it's eating away the metal. That's why it's, it's important to wear gloves when you work with corrosive liquids because if it gets on your hand, well, I wouldn't want this to be on my hand. Also, this, there were fumes produced and it's not a great idea to inhale the fumes directly. If you're in a laboratory and the fumes are produced, if you ever get nauseous, make sure you leave the area and get some fresh air. Also, Remember this, it is very important to label your chemicals and to know what they are. Because I had three clear liquids, they all look the same, but all of them had different properties. So over here, nothing happened. This liquid was highly flammable. This liquid was highly corrosive. Um, by the properties of the liquids, I can tell you. This is water. <laughs> this is ethyl alcohol. All the alcohols are extremely flammable. And this is acid specifically hydrochloric acid, and all the acids are corrosive and they away metal. So one more time over here, and you see what happens. Metal is completely gone and hydrogen gas is released. Hopefully you learn some, something about liquids, you learn something about their properties and the safety. Thanks. 